Rated M for Mature. Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman, who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary, visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Vinoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? After being expelled from the Flemington's Girl Institute, a young girl named Jennifer is transferred to the Ashman Inn to work as a housekeeper. While at the Ashman Inn, Jennifer befriends two other girls, Lindsay and Eliza. Their friendship is the only thing that makes living at a remote inn bearable. But there is something wicked in the halls of the Ashman Inn. Jennifer soon feels a malicious presence and encounters a terrifying being called Porcelain and a mysterious Red Nun. But those are not the only threats that loom in the Ashman Inn. When the residents hear the tick of a metronome, they fly into a murderous rage, with Jennifer as their target. In order to survive, Jennifer must fight or hide and pray they do not find her. Meanwhile, Reed travels to the Ashman Inn to meet the proprietor, Stefano Ashman. Reed is continuing her investigation to find Celeste Felton and believes the inn could be the lead she needs. Jennifer and Rosemary are out to find their truths. But what dangers lie ahead of them? Station.